let's quickly go ahead and see this in the last style which is nothing but a c square mos or a clock c mos style here we saw that it's same let's make a static c mos first very similar make the static c mos with the p mos same and n mos same for a c square mos so p mos here vdd n mos here ground and here we know that there are two transistors in between so let's connect those two transistors one is my m1 the output would be taken from here you can see the general diagram this is my m2 this is not going to be a pmos this is going to be an nmos and this is going to be my pmos so m1 is pmos m2 is nmos phi bar phi and this circuit is same like static cmos we'll give this input a now let's see how this works so when phi is equal to 0 phi bar will be equal to 1 and hence this transistor is off and this transistor is off so output will be somewhere floating or it's called high impedance we'll discuss this in future clips right now not required however when the sequence changes at this point of time remember just before i go ahead when phi is 0 and phi bar is 1 any change in a will not be reflected at the output because this both transistors are connected before the output however when phi changes to 1 and phi bar goes to 0 that means m2 is on and m1 is on so this is nothing but a closed switch and it reduces itself to nothing but pmos a closed switch and an nmos it's nothing but my static inverter and will achieve the functionality as desired so here this is nothing but a c square mos style in summary let's draw all the diagrams together this is nothing but my static cmos where this is my input and this is my output there's nothing but my zero and mos circuit where this is my output and this is my a and this is my ground Remember, the only change from the static is that the PMOS is substituted by a PMOS which is always on or grounded. In dynamic style, we drew a header, we drew a footer, header was a PMOS, footer was an NMOS and both of them had an input given nothing but 5 and in between that we had nothing but NMOS logic of a static CMOS which is nothing but only an NMOS and the output was taken between the pull down network and the pull up network so this was nothing but v out this is vdd and this is ground and finally we saw c square mos logic in which just put the same static blocks so pmos nmos pmos connect uh, another pmos in series nmos connect another nmos in series and take the output in between that series transistors same like static cmos pmos and nmos has an input a this is nothing but phi bar and this is nothing but 5. So this is how we saw a CMOS inverter represented in different styles. In future clips, we will not do the analysis. We'll just draw the diagram and hope you have followed. Stay tuned. Thank you very much.